Okay, I just got done uh, going to Advanced Auto Parts to get a couple bottles of seafoam. Uh, one will be going into the snowblower uh, I have, and the other will be going into a couple of brake boosters. So I'm not sure if I will actually be recording those, so check back. Okay, that's where I just put the seafoam in. It's about 12.34 p.m. And about 12.38, 12.39, I will be restarting the engine again to actually clean out the rest of the system. And from right about here, there will be a lot of smoke blowing out. So, yep. And if you don't know what seafoam is, it is essentially a cleaner for your uh, fuel injectors and your entire fuel line. Uh, it removes a bunch of carbon buildup. Uh, and also, uh, sludge deposits in your, uh, crank case, and that will usually go right there. It's, well, anything with that little oil can on it, really. Well, oil can symbol. And, well, as you can see, most likely, this can be used on almost anything that has a internal combustion engine on it, so... Yep, I'll come back when I restart the engine. Okay, it's roughly 12.40, 12.39, and this is going to be attempt one to see if there will be a reaction with the seafoam. And yep, there is. So, I will come back later. Okay, I just did a uh, drive test and I am almost home. And, well, I can definitely say there is a definite response to the sea foaming. Especially on launch, which I am about to do. Not too aggressively though, because there are cars in front of me. So... Yeah, there's a lot faster response than prior, so if you have a really high mileage vehicle over 90,000 miles, then, and you know for a fact that it's never been seafoamed, then you might want to have it seafoamed. And it's really easy to do. You can either get it in a bottle like I showed you, or in an aerosol can. So, go out and get a bottle or two, and have some fun. Don't try not to piss your neighbors off too much. And I claim no liability to what you guys are about to do, so you're on your own.